Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the Firebase push notifications in React Native. So you can see that if my screen is there and if my app is closed now, I am here going to send a message. Hello, how are you? Okay, so I am sending the notification title and this. I am going to send this message to this and let's check this. Notification is coming. Hello, how are you? My app is closed currently. Okay, so we are going to implement the push notifications in React Native. So let's start the tutorial how we are going to do that. Okay, so first of all, let's create a project. Uh, this is my old project that I have integrated. So we are going to do it by scratch. So let's begin it. So first of all, let's uh, close this one. So I'm going to close both of this close terminal and here control shift P uh, close this terminal also and make to the this one. Okay. So first of all, we need to initiate a project first. Push <coughs> notifications. push notifications okay <coughs> so it's downloading the template file so we will go with the npm firebase cloud messaging okay. this is the firebase messaging npm okay so we need to install this copy Go to the CD push. Okay, install this package. Messaging and uh, uh, require messaging app also. Okay, so we will install this also. So npmi control at the retract native firebase app okay so these two things we have installed uh, let's go to the app.js so we have uh, react native where is the project push notify app.js So we will directly copy this and add this notifications. Okay. These are the methods that we are using. You will get all this from the documentation of the this Firebase. So all these are getting from this only. We have added all these functions from the Firebase. If you go and check this one with the documentation. So here is the quick start documentation. So you can see that we have an installation of everything, right? Usage, there is a function that requests user permissions, right? Receiving message, there is a function. Okay, notification, foreground use effect, a new message has been arrived, background if you want. So this is the code for background notify handler. This is for the data only messages, right? So all this, we have used this uh, from this documentation. Okay, so you can also get it from here. So messaging, subscribe, weather topic, or subscribe, firebot, JSON. I have added all these things from this one, right? Okay. So you can also use React Native on Android and messages which display. Do not use color to tint. So you can update the color also, right? You can also use Android, Firebase, JSON, and to update the color, my custom color, right? 
so let's check we have added this uh, let's make it Android build open okay we haven't created the project in the Firebase so let's create the new project in the Firebase so I'm going to go, go with the, this one add project Firebase push okay so I have continue with this continue a selected account default continue with career to project So finishing up continue go to create with the Android package name would be your com dot I have push and OT my directory name is push notifications my Android app name nothing we register this app download this Google service so it is downloaded what next so you need to follow this path you need to add all of this so let's go with the project build.gradle so you need to place Google services dot JSON in your app folder so if I go to this one we have Android app here you need to push uh, add the code of the sorry Google JSON file new tab downloads you have Google services dot JSON so I'm going to add this rename this Google services okay after this we need to add this is done then we have to add follow the steps over here so this is dependencies that I want you to use project build dot gradle so I'm going to do with the push notification Android build.gradle open it so here I'm going to add dependencies add this dependencies dependencies add this in all project repositories all project repositories we have Google In all repository we have Google already added save it so move to the next one next pro next one it says project app module build dot gradle project build dot gradle project app it is project app module we are on the app module and then build dot gradle so we are going to open this one build dot gradle so we will going to apply this one also dependencies first of all we add this one copy and paste this next we have we need to add the dependencies of this one dependencies 2 we are going to add in dependency section so we are going to add this and we have another this one analytics save it we have done with this now next so this is configured so let's we are going to make a build push notify android okay this window shift n and start with the npx Okay, let's see build is build is ready so let's make a build
so it's creating a build so build is done unable to load this then enter this then put the shake this file app then add your settings your port and IP okay so I'm going to reload this app So we have sent notification okay so this is we have done if I'm going to uh, let's put the token over here so I have print the token so copy this token okay go to the app messaging no we are on uh, we are this Okay, new notifications, notifications, hello. Send, add the SM token, add this and send it. And you can see that uh, when we go to this alert, a new FCM token message arrived because my app is currently open. So whatever the message has arrived, you can see in the alert box. Okay, so I'm going to kill this app. I'm going to it in a background and uh, let's see I'm going to send the same message so you can see that we have a hello message here okay you if I want to if you want to send me the another message I can also send this another message hello how are you We send this message to this token and you will see that hello how are you so this is how we can implement the firebase push notification successfully so if you have any query in the firebase notifications you just do let me know okay so we will help you on that okay so please do like share and comment if you have any issue just write me in a comment box thank you so much for watching this video have a great day